hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit outdoor portrait for the bangladeshi model photography so this photograph credit goes to the johnny brothers and i'm giving him a big thanks for this photograph and i'll show you how to edit this one properly and the skin retouch as well and the light and color correction so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j for the backup purpose and then i'll do at first the skin smoothing then i'll do other things so at first i'll select this layer and go to the filter and the Protitude. this one is a filter for the skin retouch and i'll give you that link or detail link of these plugins so i have another video detail about that so here the three portion the detail of smoothing and skin tone mask and the enhancement so three things so detail of smoothing how detail will be the smooth or the face or the skin it will define this window the hue of the saturation hue saturation here is the color palette you can choose from here or you can use the negative panels for these hue saturation luminance and the latitude and the sharpness soft and warm and cool everything so how fine will be so here the that is fine that is the 16 percent and threshold and large everything is good for this photo if i zoom it in more zoom so you will show the difference between the previous one and after one so here the hue and saturation hue what color will be in the face this is defined like that and the saturation the saturation could be you know, like uh, more up or down this one and sharpening amount warm or cool or soften so sharp if i make it sharp it will be more sharper and then the soften if you increase this one it will be more sh soft and warm if we make it warm it will be more warm but i'll make it like cool and tint like that so what will be the tint and the brightness i'll increase the brightness so that's fine so before one and after one you are getting like that but uh, here if you need you can decrease the brightness just because of easy type so don't make it more hazy so here is the tint option you can control that out so before one and after one i just made it like that and hit ok button so it will take time to load it up and let's see the before one and after one but uh, i want to make the smooth of the skin not the full image so that's why i'm just mas masking this one and make it white and then go to the brush tool and like before that make the mask to inverse mask by pressing ctrl or command i and then make it white color and just brush over here so only the face and uh, the skin actually so it will make the photographs more sharpening and more realistic so that's good uh, don't sharp or uh, don't brush the edges otherwise it will spoil your sharpness of the photograph so when you are brushing this one be careful otherwise it could be like a, a blurry type image so yeah okay that's good here i'm just brushing the skin only not the other areas of the photographs so when you're brushing the uh, like low type you know, areas you can make the size decrease of the brush so that's fine so that's good and now i'll increase the like uh, light and shadow that's why i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j of this background layer and i'll select these two layer and make it group and make it merge after merging that i'll make another two copy for the shadow and highlighting dodge and burn actually so the name of this one highlight and this layer will be shadow for the s so i'm turning off the s and select the highlight option or h layer go to the blending mode and make it a screen and then right press and blending options and from here from the underlining layer find out the highlighted area of the face yeah that's good and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face that's good and hit ok and then mask this one and go to the image and apply image and hit ok so select this one and turn it on 
the shadow options and make the blending mode into multiply right press and blending options from here underlining layer i will find out the shadow of the face yeah that's good press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the shadow with the face and hit ok and mask it after that go to the image and apply image and in this case i'll make it invert and hit ok i just got these two layers for the shadow and highlight i'll make and then mask it again and image and the apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you're getting the shadow and highlight properly in the face yeah that's good uh, and if you want to remove this one you have to go to the healing or spot healing brush tool and make the brushes more smaller and press once so you have to make it group and march and then select once it will reduce so this one is good now the smooth skin done and now i'll go to the filter and the camera filter now i'll do the color correction of the image and i'll make the preset or i'll load the settings and save the settings for you guys and i'll give you that preset download link in my video description so at first i'll do the highlight down and shadow up and black cell make it down and then from the effects options i'll make it dehaze a little bit and from here basic panels i'll increase the light a little bit yeah that's good and here the clarity i'll make it two or three percent that's good and variance i'll make it like that the saturation i'll make it like minus four and then i'll go to the sharpening that means the detail option amount of sharpening i'll increase and luminance of noise reduction increase that's good so let's see the before one yeah if i make it zoom before one and after one yeah that's good and then i'll go to the camera calibration from here i'll work with the primary blue color i'll make it like aqua color and the green like that and the green color like that and as well as the blue or aqua colors and i'll adjust this one like i'll make it like this so red color i'll desaturate this one a little bit otherwise it don't match with the face so that's good and if i make it like that yeah that's good that's a different tone for these photographs and then i'll go to the hsl panel hsl panel is the hue saturation luminance in this photo you are getting the hue of the color and saturation of the color and luminance of the color and from here i'll work with that so i'll increase the saturation of the orange color actually decrease this one and increase the luminance actually so that's good and the yellow and the green as well the blue and the saturation of the blue i'll make it like that and the hue of the blue i'll make it like aqua that's good and here here is another the aqua so i'll make it this like yeah that's good and the purple color as well and here as well so saturation of the blue i'll make it like that and luminance of the blue i'll make it down just because of the color of the trays look like that so from here i'll decrease a little bit yeah that's good and the aqua i'll decrease and blue a little bit decrease so yeah minus 14 that's good the red color i'll increase here and from the tone curve i'll go to the blue tone curve and adjust the color like this so here is the rgb options but i want to go to the blue so i'll make it like this and this like so it will make more like a dramatic look so i'll make it yeah that's good and the setup will be like that but don't worry about that i'll give you that preset link in my video description so you can download that preset and you can enjoy that so okay go to these options a yeah, little bit correction and the red as well so i'll make the red color like that that's good so from here i'll increase the exposure a little bit up and contrast as well so temperature and tint if you want you can make it like this or this so i think this one is good and from the rgb tone curve i'll make it this like a little bit yeah that's good and the shadow as well increase the shadow a little bit and let's see the before one and after one yeah huge change i'll save it out 
so i'm saving these settings and gi giving the name urban urban bd so urban bd girl type preset and hit the ok button so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so if i zoom it in yeah before one and after one you are getting the amazing look of this photograph and go to the adjustment layer again and go to the levels from here adjust the light and other stuffs i'll make it like this yeah that's good and if you want to willing to add some like a solid color that means the fx you can make it the filter photo filter change the color like that and go to the blending mode and make it soft light so i'll change the color i'll choose color from here so this color is good for this photograph so before one and after one you are getting ultimate change of these photographs so that's good and select three things make it group and make it merge and after merging that i'll go to the filter and the nick collection nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop and you can download it if you want to get the download link please check out my video description i'll give the download link over here and it's loading it up and give you the lots of presets and effects from here i'm using the cross processing and here the methods lots of method you can use one of them so which one is perfect for your photography you have to define and choose it up so you can use those type of effects and it will make your photographs more amazing and it will take you in a next level so i'll use this one l02 and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so that's good yeah that's fine and now i'll go to the adjustment layer again and gradient options and from here i'll select this gradient and make the style radial make it zero degree and make it reverse and dither and make it 350 around 350 that's good it will focus the face of the model and rest of the thing will be a little bit dark so that's good and then again i'll go to the level option and adjust the level like that so yeah that's good and ultimately you are getting the previous one and after one so if you need you can adjust all fill or opacity of the photographs or layers that's why i just made this layer and select these three things make it group and make it merge and now i'll increase the sharpness press ctrl j and then go to the adjustment layer make it the blending mode vivid light and actually overlay is the best for this one and then go to the filter and uh, here from the other and high pass and make the high pass value 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 that's 0 0.9 that's good and hit ok so increase the, the sharpness of the photo that's good and then select these two things make it group and make it march and after merging that i'll do the final output like this before one and after one so this one was our final output thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the plugins and other steps please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye